everyone. Uh, welcome back to Wayne's Garage. First thought I'd say thanks to the new subscribers and uh, getting closer to 300. Um, we're at 296 subscribers now and I'm stoked because uh, for, for close to two years I sat on 242 and um, thanks to Arco and um, Glenn um, for uh, shouting out to us uh, and that just letting everyone know about my channel and that as well so once again uh, shout out to those two guys um, go and check out Glen Red at um, NZ Mopar and Arco at Outlaw Edge also check out Justin from Eastern Metalworks uh, up in Canada uh, I think he's in Ontario uh, Canada so check him out um, he's coming up he's starting to get a few more subscribers as well um, so at the moment I'm just sitting down having a bit of a break I've just boxed up four customer orders for my new floor pans for the um, HR HD Holdens um, these ones go underneath the um, basically they go underneath the seat um, in the sedan the wagon but because the floor from the front to the back is the same all the way through uh, from the sedans to the utes to the panel vans they will fit those um, other two vehicles as well um, so that's that's the gar at the moment um, I have had a couple of requests for other panels um, so this weekend or actually to, this afternoon I have to finish a customer order off for David um, David, mate, I'm sorry, I've just been flat chat boxing these customer, these other orders up uh, to get them out of the way with, and I busted my dolly, so I've got to re-weld that back up this afternoon as, as well, and hopefully finish that um, dog leg off through this afternoon and tomorrow morning and get it posted to you. Um, so, I'm sorry, mate, it probably won't be there until sometime on um, next week. But anyway, um, getting back on track a little bit. Um, there's another panel, I'll get it over and I'll show you, is, um, and that, that I've been asked if I can do, is this panel here, um, let's see if I can, and that, so basically, it rusts, as you can see, I've got a little bit of a rust hole here for mine, um, and there's been a little bit of a patch here as well, and that, so I'm going to brace up my floor and take that bolt out and um, fix this little section here on mine but everyone there's others that have got rust in through here or that's rusted up here down in through here as well and into the back now I've been talking to a gentleman that I know um, that has two good sections of these so what I'm looking at doing is um, hopefully getting them off him so then I can make some templates out of um, cheap metal and all that sort of stuff for these panels here. Um, so they'll be left and right. So then I will make them, so they're two, two pieces. Um, and that, so then everyone can come along and they can fit them the way they want to. So then it's not two, it's the back and the front. Um, and that so that hopefully I will play around with making some of them over the next month um, and that sort of stuff and uh, see how I go um, on getting that done the other one too is I'll oh, show you um, how's the glare this section here yeah, and that it rusts away along underneath the rubber so I'm making one of them up for a customer as well Hopefully either this week or next week when I've got a little bit more money in, because doing those floor pans I've run out of uh, run out of sheet metal, so I'm either going to make it in two sections or uh, try and make it in one. But uh, at the moment I'm looking at possibly making it in two, and that uh, so it makes it easier to be able to send it through the post at the moment. Um, what else? I think that's about it, everyone. Uh, just sort of. Yeah, jump on. Say thanks to everyone that um, started following the uh, the channel, um, and everyone that has watched the videos. You know, 
um, the view account now f has finally gone over 31,000 um, and that that's pretty cool actually I, I'm stoked with that also stoked that I'm almost up to 300 uh, subscribers um, and that and on another note um, working with um, uh, rust oleum and uh, moto spray um, and that on doing one as they call it one little project at a time and they're going to help me out a little bit uh, they may not help me out with everything like all the different projects but at the moment we're looking at just doing some content um, so the project I'm going to be doing with them uh, for them to help me and send me some products and that so then I can um, basically use them recommend them um, and work with them and all that sort of stuff we're going to I'm going to be doing the little bit of front rust in the front lip area um, and that and working on doing that so yeah I think that's about it for now. Um, probably going to try and find some other little projects I can do along the way, unless I wait for the products for the bonnet, and then we'll do a video on uh, their paint stripping, uh, the paint stripper, uh, so I can strip all the paint back on the front and the back. Because um, my goal with the bonnet is to get it stripped back all the rust, uh, well the, it's actually technically no rust in it, but we're still going to rust convert it, um, so it's some sort of rust encapsulator or something like that, then um, I'll cut out the bad repair work before, and uh, possibly see what is in behind all that. Um, hopefully no actual major rust per se anymore and hopefully be able to get there and uh, make up a better panel more flush then we can weld all that in and um, then look at um, basically etch priming it hopefully etch prime it high build primer a little bit of filler and all the prep work ready for paint um, and uh, I'll probably look at painting the uh, the under the bonnet first, and I might look at getting another liter or two of the uh, the body color and some thinners, and then I'll um, and clear coat, and I'll do the bonnet. So, because I don't think my clear coat is any good anymore, um, but I'll check all that out. So. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Please uh, jump over to the Facebook page. The Facebook page has been going crazy. It's up to over 600 followers. Um, I'm wanting to do a giveaway through the Facebook page. So when we reach to a thousand, thousand followers on the Facebook page, I'm going to give uh, one of my stubby callers away and a t-shirt. Um, and that, and we will just stick in a random number. One to a thousand, and um, go from there. Um, and uh, if I pluck your name out, then um, yeah. Um, also, I'll do the same thing with the Facebook, uh, the YouTube channel, um, T-shirt, uh, and that for when we get to a thousand subscribers, um, and. Um, yeah, so I'm happy to get there and do the t-shirt and give it away, um, and s yeah, I'll probably send it through Australia, New Zealand, throughout the US, um, Canada, um, maybe the UK, depends on the cost wise um, on postage, but we'll sort that out when we get to a thousand subscribers. Um, yeah, that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, once again, make sure keep the rubber side down. Cheerio for now.